Hello there. Is that still a thing? Anyways, the next thing we're gonna learn is statistics. You're gonna need your notebook. So to start with statistics, first you'll have to generate a question that you want to collect information or data about. Then you're going to collect that data. Next, you're going to organize the data. Then you're going to analyze the data. And finally, you'll have to interpret your data. Here's how to get started. So what is a statistical question? Well, first off, your question has to be framed in a certain way so that the answer could be a number. So asking a question like, what's your favorite ice cream, would not be statistical. Because if you ask 20 people what their favorite ice cream is, they're not going to give you a number. They'll say like chocolate or vanilla, or if they're one of my least favorite, mint chocolate. A statistical question also has to be framed so that the answers could vary, meaning there isn't just one answer. Asking a question like, hey, how many telephones do you eat a day? Is not a statistical question, and here's why. Hey, Dad, quick question. How many telephones do you eat a day? Zero, you little freak. Get away from me. Hey, Mom, quick question. How many telephones do you eat a day? Oh, heavens, why would you ask me such a question? I'm very concerned. Hey, Harper Dog, how many telephones do you eat a day? This is not a good statistical question because one, you're probably going to alienate yourself from your entire family. And two, the answers didn't vary. If you noticed, if when you ask someone how many telephones you eat, the, most of the time the answer is going to be zero. So again, you want the data to vary. So here's some good examples to get you started. So here's a question. How many minutes do sixth graders spend on their phone each day? This is a good stat question because one, when you ask that question, the answer could be a number, it will be a number. And two, the answers will vary because you could ask a bunch of different people and their answers will be different because some people say I spend over 60 minutes a day and some people only spend two a day. So the answers vary. Another example of a statistical question would be asking, how many hits did Major League Second Baseman get in the year 2019? This is a good statistical question because you could research and look up all the stats for the second baseman in, in 2019. And the answers will vary because not every single second baseman gets a lot of hits, right? So to get you started, first you're going to go on Khan Academy and do some practice to figure out what's a good question, what's a bad question, as far as statistical questions go. And then I want you to start thinking, what will your statistical question be? It can be on anything, whether you like sports or if you like movies or you like the arts or if you're interested to see how other sixth graders live their lives. Thing is. What you'll have to do is you'll have to get 20 data points to zero. So that means you could ask 20 people your question, like how many minutes a day do you spend on your phone? Or you could go on the internet and research 20 data points so you could look up the top 20 second basemen in MLB and see how many hits they got each year. So make sure in the comment thread below if you have questions that you want to see if they are statistical, I will give you back some feedback and make sure that we get started with this stat study. Mm -hmm.